Hi, it's me Tina Amir and welcome to my channel. So for today, we're going to learn about direction. It's actually asking for direction. But before I begin, I have to remind you that for this video, I'm just going to use informal pronunciation. For those of you who are not clear yet what is informal pronunciation, please watch my number 53 video which is about confusing pronunciation asking for direction in malay is bertanya arah tanya is as that's the root word arah is direction so bertanya arah asking for direction now i'm going to introduce to you some words that gonna be beneficial for our lesson today and for today is actually a conversational Malay video these are the words left, kiri, right, kanan, depan, front, belakang, back, map, peta, straight, lurus or terus but honestly even straight meaning is lurus or terus you normally just say terus for direction terus but some people also say straight but nobody say lurus okay please bear in mind about that and talking about terus you also have the word berterusan so you have the prefix ber and you add up suffix an at the back so berterusan which means continuous but Berterusan is normally we use for formal Malay sentence. And then you have U-turn, which means pusingan U. But normally people will say U-turn. And you have roundabout, which we normally say bulatan. So I will give here example. English sentence, please draw a map for me. Malay, tolong lukis or tolong lukiskan peta untuk saya. Boh akarang. Tolong lukis peta untuk saya or tolong lukiskan peta untuk saya. Both are correct. So, tolong is please. Lukis is draw. Peta is map. Untuk is for. Saya is me or I. So, tolong lukis peta untuk saya or tolong lukiskan peta untuk saya. Or you can also ask how to go to the bank. If you check your dictionary, they will say how is bagaimana. But bagaimana is formal Malay word. For speaking, we just say macam mana. Macam is actually means like. Mana is from the word di mana, which means where. So if you direct translate, it means like where. But that's not what it means. So it means how for speaking. Macam mana. Nak from the word henda, which means one. Pergi is go, bank is bank. So, macam mana nak pergi bank? Macam mana nak pergi bank? How to go to the bank? Or you can also ask, it will be more polite to ask like this. Can you please draw a map for me on how to go to the bank? That's English sentence. Malay sentence for speaking. Boleh tak awak tolong lukis peta untuk saya? Macam mana nak pergi bank? Oh, this is also correct. Boleh tak awak tolong lukiskan peta untuk saya? Macam mana nak pergi bank? This uh, you ask your friend when you really need a proper direction on the paper. So you have reference when you are on the road. So, boleh is can. Tak is from the word tidak which means not. Awak is you. Tolong is help. Lukis is draw. Peta is map. Untuk saya. For me. Macam mana. How. Not from the Uhenda, pergi, go to the bank. Can you please draw a map for me on how to go to the bank? Boleh tak awak tolong lukis peta untuk saya? Macam mana nak pergi bank? Boleh tak awak tolong lukiskan peta untuk saya? Macam mana nak pergi bank? That's for the case if you want somebody to really draw for you on the piece of paper regarding the direction. But in case you have a good memory, then you can ask... Can you please tell me how to go to the post office? So in Malay, boleh tak bagi tahu saya macam mana nak pergi post office? Or you can ask also, boleh tak bagi tahu saya macam mana nak pergi pejabat post? But some people also use English word post office or and also pejabat post. So boleh can tak from the word tidak which means not bagi tahu actually bagi tahu 
which means tell. Boleh tak tolong bagi tahu saya? Can you please tell me? Boleh tak tolong bagi tahu saya? Can you please tell me? How? Macam mana nak pergi? One go actually, right? But that's not it is for translation. So, can you please tell me how to go to the post office? Boleh tak tolong bagi tahu saya macam mana nak pergi post office? That's basically what you can ask. Or, if you are on the road and you feel like you are lost, then you just ask stranger. Then you can say, Cik, tumpang tanya, macam mana nak pergi pasar dari sini? In English, Miss, may I ask, how to go to the market from here? So, Miss is Cik, tumpang tanya. Tumpang actually leave. And then tanya is us. But you cannot direct translate that. It's like tumpang tanya, may I ask, something like that. Or we have also the word tumpang lalu. For example, you wanted to pass through and it's so crowded. In English, you normally say, excuse me, excuse me. So in Malay, you can say tumpang lalu, tumpang lalu because lalu is pass. So tumpang lalu, you just want to pass. Like it's so polite to say that. Same like tumpang tanya. Like you are in the city and you don't know anyone. Everyone is stranger to you. So you can approach them because normally people are not comfortable that much with stranger, right? So when you say tumpang tanya, it's so polite and people will be comfortable with you. So cek tumpang tanya, macam mana nak pergi pasar dari sini? How to go to the market from here? Dari is from, sini is here. So, macam mana nak pergi pasar dari sini? That's when you bother a stranger. How about your friend, right? So, you can ask awak, macam mana nak pergi museum? Oh, macam mana nak pergi museum awak? Awak not in the middle. Otherwise, the sentence will be like, how your friend wanted to go to museum, not you. Somehow, this awak, to be on the safe side, if you're not clear yet, then you can mention awak at the front or awak at the back. But also depends on sentence, like what I've already explained for the conversation in Malay for occupations. But for this one, you cannot put awak in the middle. Otherwise, your friend wanted to go to museum, not you. So, awak macam mana nak pergi museum? Or, macam mana nak pergi museum awak? How to go to the museum? Call your friend you. How to go to the museum? Something like that. Or you can also ask, where is the museum? So as I said, where in former Malay actually di mana or di mana. But somehow, when you speak, you don't say di mana or di mana. You say kat mana. So you can ask kat mana museum. Kat mana museum or museum kat mana. And if you want to explain further because you ask, you can say, I'm not familiar with the road here. Then in Malay, saya tak biasa dengan jalan sini. Saya tak biasa. Biasa is regular or normal. But you cannot direct translate that. So, saya tak biasa is I'm not familiar. Dengan with jalan road sini. Actually, the word is di sini. But no need to have di sini. So formal. It can be either saya tak biasa dengan jalan sini or saya tak biasa dengan jalan kat sini. That's also accepted. You can ask again, jauh tak? Is it far? Jauh tak? So, jauh is far. Tak from the word tidak which means not. It's like far or not. Or you can ask, dekat tak? Is it close? So, dekat is close. Tak is tidak which means not. So, it's like close or not. Okay, something like that. And your friend can say like this. Senang je. Senang je. Senang is easy. Je from the word sahaja, which means only. So it's like just easy. Or it also have a meaning like quite easy. Senang je. Or she or he can also say dekat je. Dekat je is like just close or quite close. Or you can also say Dekat je jalan dia. Jalan dia is is road. So, you can also add up to that. Don't say jalannya, okay? Jalannya is so formal. We use nya when we express something like so happy, happy-nya. Okay, then you can use nya for speaking. But like this, jalan is road, then you don't have that nya. For speaking, is very awkward and formal. So, you just say jalan dia. 
Oh, you can also say senang je nak pergi. Oh, senang je nak pergi sana. So, senang je nak pergi or senang je nak pergi is just easy to go. It means something like that. Oh, senang je nak pergi sana is just easy to go there. Senang je nak pergi sana. And this is how you have to describe the direction. You can say turn left. The left, pusing kiri. Turn right, pusing kanan. And then you can also say first left. First turn left, right? First is pertama in Malay. But we don't speak like that. We have this word. Mula-mula, pusing kiri. First turn left. So mula actually has so many meanings. For example, start, beginning or first. But for example, it's a direction like this. You need to say mula-mula. So it's like firstly, you know, or in the beginning. So firstly, turn left. Mula-mula, pusing kiri. Or you can also say, mula-mula, pusing kanan. Firstly, turn right. And then in English, you have like second, turn left. Okay, first, turn right. Mula-mula, pusing kanan. And then second, turn left. But in Malay, second, you direct translate will be kedua. But when you say for direction, you don't really say like that. Normally, we say like, after that, turn left. After that turn left in Malay is lepas tu, pusing kiri. After that, lepas tu, turn left, pusing kiri. So, after is selepas. Tu from the word itu, which means that. So, after that, lepas itu. We don't really say selepas itu so formal. So, lepas tu, pusing kiri. After that, turn left. Or you can also say, lepas tu baru pusing kiri. Baru is actually new. But you cannot direct translate this. You know, you cannot suddenly put new. It's really totally not make any sense. But I wanted to say, this is the full sentence. Lepas tu baru pusing kiri. Lepas tu terus je. So it means after that, then you turn left. Or after that, you start to turn left. Then, lepas tu terus je, right? After that, just straight. When you wanted to mention like to the traffic light, we normally say sampai kat traffic light. So, sampai is reach. Kat is D or at or in. So, sampai kat traffic light is like when you reach the traffic light. Or just go straight until you reach the traffic light. Something like that. So, terus je sampai kat traffic light. Normally, we say something like that. And then you say, buat U-turn. Buat U-turn. Buat is make. U-turn is U-turn. As I said, we normally don't really use the word pusingan you. So, buat U-turn, make U-turn. And then, if you want to say, go, just go straight, more straight, something like that, then you would just say, terus lagi. But lagi means again, more means lebih. You cannot say terus lebih. It's not correct, even for speaking. So you need to say terus lagi. It actually means more straight for terus lagi. And then you say, sebelah kanan ada sekolah. Sebelah kanan ada sekolah. So, on the right side, side is sebelah, kanan is right. On the right side, there's school. Ada sekolah. School is sekolah. Kat tepi sekolah tu, kat tepi, from the word di tepi. So, it means like next to. And di tepi also means like beside. Tepi is side. Di tepi is actually beside. So, when you mention kat tepi, like beside. So, it's like next to that school, there's a museum, other museum. I hope you are clear about this pointing direction. I continue a little bit more for this. If your friend asks you, are you going to Penang Hill? In Malay, awak nak pergi Bukit Bendera? Bukit Bendera is Penang Hill. Are you going to Penang Hill? Awak, you nak, want, pergi is go. So, in this sentence, it's like, are you going to Penang Hill? Awak nak pergi Bukit Bendera? Or, if you want to add up the word next month, then next month is bulan depan. Bulan is month. Next is depan, like front. So, awak nak pergi Penang Hill ke bulan depan? Ke, actually, for formal Malay means to. But for this one, is like when we have sentence, we normally say that ke. Awak nak pergi Penang Hill ke bulan depan? But even that ke also correct. Awak nak pergi Penang Hill bulan depan? That's also correct. And then, your friend will say, ha ha. I've mentioned in my previous video about ha ha. So, ha ha actually means yes. Either then you say ha ha, you can also say ye. Ye. Then, your friend say, nak ikut ke? Nak one. Ikut is follow. Both are correct. Nak ikut ke? Nak ikut ke? Nak ikut. Both are correct for speaking for this sentence. So, it's like yes, 
you want to follow or you want to join something like that or you can also ask your friend saya nak ikut boleh can i join can i follow that's basically what it means but without that boleh you can say saya nak ikut i want to join i want to follow so you can say saya nak ikut i want to join or it's like i want to follow well i guess that's all our lesson for asking direction thank you very much for watching me if you like my video please check out my patreon page so that i can have more time to make more videos thank you very much for watching me and see you again next lesson bye